My name is Simona Smirnova. I'm a Lithuanian born composer, vocalist, and kanklis player based in New York City. This is uh, my apartment. This is where I compose, where I practice, and I create music um, and have friends over. <laughs> I'm based in New York, I'm a full-time musician, which is not always um, that easy or glamorous. It involves a lot of work, but I love it and my friends love it. We love the energy about the city, we love uh, how much work we do and we love the work we do. We love rehearsing and practicing and sharing creative ideas, performing in different venues, meeting different people and that sense of, po of possibility that you really you never know who you're gonna meet and where is it going to lead. I started playing Conquest myself when I I was seven years old as a little girl and that was my first encounter with the instrument and with music and it led me through the journey since then which is 27 years. I played Kankles in folk ensembles, I played classical music, then I studied at Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theater and majored in jazz vocal performance. Then I moved to Boston and I uh, majored in contemporary writing and production. But Gunkles always stayed with me from the beginning until now. And now I try to combine all of this. I try to combine jazz and electronic music and production and folkloric traditions. My music, the music I perform, it's uh, Baltic folklore meets jazz, pop and rock music. It's a very interactive, entertaining show, uh, a little bit visual, a lot of improvisation. I use electronic music aspects such as theremin, um, I use my conkles, we have electric guitar, bass, drums, piano, drum pad, we use samples of different nature sounds and my whole body of work is connected with nature. I dedicate my work to human connection to one another and to nature. So I travel to different parts of the world and I present Kankles, an instrument which is a traditional Lithuanian instrument. I travel to Australia, I travel to New Zealand, I travel to Europe and different states in the US. And every time people ask me, what is this thing? What are you playing? And there's not a single show where people wouldn't ask. I play in jazz clubs, I play in live music venues and festivals. And people, people would always ask me, what are you playing, Simona? So I tell them this is Kankles and this is a traditional Lithuanian zither called Kankles and then people learn the word Kankles. A Kankles is a national instrument. It goes deep, deep back into the times where Lithuania still had pagan practices and uh, people used to believe that human soul can transport into a tree. So if you cut the tree and you make an instrument, you can hear the human soul crying. So Kankles has a deep, deep rooted in spiritual practice from Baltic tribes. And Lithuania belongs to the Baltic region near Baltic Sea. So this instrument is very old and has deep traditions, but for the first time it was used in archives, in written text, only in the 16th century. And the first instrument is much smaller than the one um, we see now. It has seven, nine or 12 strings. So in the middle of 20th century, uh, we developed a larger version for professional music, for modern music. It has 29 strings and it has levers, which allows us to have up to three flats or up to four sharps. It's still mostly used for classical music or folkloric music. But uh, this is where I come now and I try with my compositions and uh, with my experiments uh, with this instrument, try to bring new legacy and new color into this instrument. This is my body of work, Kankles in New York, is a book and 
audio CD. People can listen to it, people can learn it, people can listen and learn it. So uh, it has a little bit of history about the instrument. It's in both languages, uh, in Lithuanian and in English. And it has sheet music of 14 original pieces I've composed. It varies from very easy ones, uh, such as this one, the first one, the cherry blossom, and it goes to the harder ones, which are probably for more advanced players. Uh, the reason I have very diverse level of pieces because I want to contribute uh, to the musical repertoire of Kankles uh, for everybody. It's inclusive for people who are just starting to learn or would like to start to learn or for people who already have been playing. So uh, Kankles in New York is dedicated to my life in New York, so it has these names, New York themed. It has, for example, a, one of the pieces called Sunrise on East River. So it's a bridging point of my life in New York and my life in Lithuania. In Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, we have Neres Ope, which is Neres River, where we would spend a lot of time. Just like here, near my house, we have East River in Manhattan, which I would gr greet sunrises. So this is a bridging point, the little things, nature things, routine things, which reminds me of home, but still living this modern and urban life in New York City and connecting my life back in Lithuania and my life here as an international musician in the US. So all the pieces have these themes of New York. We have Cherry Blossom from Central Park and uh, we have uh, street art, which we have in Lithuania a lot of murals and we have in East Village a lot of and that that is in rock genre. So all the pieces go through different uh, styles, for example, such as pop, rock, bossa nova, jazz, meditational music. So the book has nine original pieces in different uh, styles and different levels. Uh, it has two arranged folk songs. It has two my original children's songs, which I specifically composed for bilingual children, but I hope that all children around the world can sing it. And one Christian hymn. One very important thing that Kankles notation uses grand staff. So this can be played not only on Kankles, but it also can be played by harp or by piano. So I really hope that a lot of people will be able to use it and uh, incorporate it into their communities and into their musical lives. So I invite music enthusiasts, ethnomusicologists, people who love ethnic music and folkloric traditions to listen to it and maybe try to learn it. Get acquainted with the music, learn about tradition, hear that sound, maybe have it in their own project. Just welcome that very specific Baltic tribal sound of Lithuanian Kankles. Kankles in New York book has three main goals. One is to promote Kankles playing in the United States and across the globe, so more people would start learning and using the instrument. Number two is to expand Kankles modern repertoire in Lithuania. And number three is to present Kankles instrument in the music industry globally for the first time.